I haven't reacted to an honest trailer uh, mm-hmm. video in a long time. I actually like their content. It's been a bit since I watched any of their videos, but back in the day, I used to, well, back in the day, like it's a long time. Well, it's been a while, but I used to watch them consistently. And now they actually react to a trailer. They're talking about Alien Romulus, which I thought was pretty good. I love the claustrophobic, dark, horror feel of this alien. They went back to that horror e- uh, element. And I liked it. I heard it had mixed reviews. Um, some people loved it. Some was like, eh, eh, it was a little slow. I didn't think it was slow. I thought they got right to the point. Yes, the well, no, they got right to the point. Like 10, 15 minutes in, you already in the action. So I love that feel. I love the, like, I don't know if you remember the video game Alien Isolation. That's what this movie felt like. Could it have been more of the monsters? Sure, but I thought they did enough. And I look forward to seeing what else they come up after this. Anyway, let's see what Honest Trailer says. Did they like it or not? Shout out to them. I'll put the original video in the uh, description. You've seen Alien Screw with Space Truckers, Space Marines, and Rejects from Space Jam. Now, prepare for DJ Fede Alvarez to remix the classics into something brand new. I'm Science Officer Rook. Okay, slightly new. Right, this is what the Colonial Marines use. At certain points new. <laughs> Only new when they birth a full-grown Michael Rappaport. You miserable motherless mother Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alien. Oh I, my I, goodness, I, I, bro. I, 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 I mean, Romulus. Come work for Waylon Utani, a company formed by the merger of SpaceX and Amazon. Due to a shortage of workers, you're being transferred to the mines. They failed to contain a xenomorph outbreak for what, like the hundredth time? And now, sure, the perfect point. killing machines you remember face off against a new challenger this gang of clueless orphans. Should be in and out in 30 minutes. In the easiest win for an alien since Omni Man versus Rush Hour. Dang. Dang. It's the worst line in the franchise, but Waylon Utani deserves what's coming for it. Bought out by Walmart. Ironically, that's the only place you can still find Alien versus Predator. Move over, Sigourney. This final girl is the actress who. I think that movie's underrated, in my opinion. Kiali Alien vs. Predator. Spiani. Second one. She's Ray. First one was a that underrated. Child of mine workers dreaming of a better future, like Zoolander in space. Hey, Pop. I thought maybe I could work the mines with you guys. Her only companion is Andy the Android. He was meant to help raise her, but in a cruel twist of fate, he was only built for dad jokes. Why don't monsters eat clowns? Because they funny. And he crashes more than Windows 2000. Okay. I'm resetting you. Right into the loose line room, he's just frozen up. He's just rebooting. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. But Rain I thought he did a good job a trusty playing the machine. To help with some light fingering. That's tough to act like that. And to know just enough to set up the stakes, but never enough to break the tension. They try to keep by sound, but primarily by heat signature. If we raise the temperature in the room to match our bodies, would that make us invisible to them? Just one way to find out. As a matter of current, will violently contract his tail flexors and will break her neck. Maybe if it's frozen, it won't choke her. That could work. So what's the point <laughs> of giving us the gas? Because the creature may see it as a threat. And maybe it won't charge us dead on. Maybe. Big maybe. Thanks, Andy. That's almost helpful. I appreciate Jordan it, right? Them is the Goonies. If they often said die, Tyler the Orphan says he learned to soldier from video games. Where'd you learn all this? Games and magazines. But when this is what games look like, I call shenanigans. Right. It's like, that's the, the video game? Uh, this is an F-44A pulse rifle. It's rotating breach electronic I'm about to trust your <laughs> knowledge. The orphan hates androids for orphaning him. Well, synthetic made the call to seal them. The Fearon's mom still trapped inside. And he made a solemn vow to never speak legibly again. You know, I heard the cryo sleep. Just makes your ears feel like one night of heavy drinking, apparently. Do you want mine? Navarro is an orphan pilot who's killed off right away. Good thing her job can be replaced by two buttons. Press the button. And Kay is an orphan who is way too pregnant to go on a space heist. Who's the father? Somebody. Isn't she playing Hawk Girl in Judge James like Gunn's new Superman? From Prometheus. I think that's the same mm-hmm. one. Prequel Gale. 
Yeah, if I remember correctly, she's playing Hawk Girl. They'll have to deal and, uh, with the James Gunn Superman. Knows, featuring the most awkward face huggers in franchise history. Yeah, I thought they did the face huggers can't right. See you if it's really too good. Warm. They got more of a spotlight, in my opinion. And share to be real, they were more scary than the Zeta, than the actual monster. Almost. Oh, wrong side, other side. Like the Xenomorphs are they're terrifying, but okay, these. But imagine how good they'll be in another five years. But the real threats come from the franchise's usual gang of spiky parasitic d plus one undrafted center from Serbia who's going to turn. Yeah, that started the heck. I was like, what the heck is this? The ultimate villain to anyone who's ever played a video game. Doors. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't have a parent's drawer from the door. I can't open this door. You almost closed the door on it. Yes, but I didn't. Open the door. I'm afraid I must deny your petition. Please open the door. Why didn't you help me? Open the door. There was nothing I could have done to save her. Obviously, plotting against them from the start is Rook, a synth who's like the team at every entertainment company, still trying to do his job despite being slashed in half. I humbly request your services now to finish our mission. Just in time for spooky season, Ian Holm stars from beyond the grave. Get out, however you got in. In a performance that does for acting what Snapchat filters did for portraits. And sure, a human actor could have brought something new to this role and wouldn't have made the film complicit in the same ghoulish greed it rails against. Have mercy and end her life now. That's it. Mm -hmm. So strap in for a fun but safe take on some sci-fi horror classics that's got the same old... It was, they did play it safe. I can admit that. With no touch screen, it was nothing to it that was... Oh my goodness. I didn't expect him to go that route. It wasn't... It wasn't like that. It was what Alien just needs to be. If it's called safe, then so be it. I can understand, but it doesn't need to go over the top. Some movies don't need to go over the top. Just give it what it's made for. Just give the fans what they want. Horror, claustrophobic, xenomorph, uh, uh, all that stuff. Just give us a simple trapped in a ship kind of movie, and people are happy. Like, I, I respect that they tried to do something else with Alien Covenant, Prometheus, and stuff. But some movies don't need all that. And if, well, I'm not saying those movies were terrible, but yeah, just my point is some movies need to stay safe in the way it is because that's some, some characters are meant for that. And alien is meant for that. You know, people want to go in, enjoy the, the aliens and all that stuff for that little moment, the claustrophobic feel in the movie, go home. Some movies don't need to go over the top and I'm glad they didn't, in my opinion. Because, yeah, I would be lying if I was like, oh, it went, it went above and beyond. No, it didn't. To do what's best for the company. And the same brutal alien action done well enough to keep me hooked for three more of these dumb things. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a good tentacle. Well, yeah. Never skimp on the I'm ready for the next H. one. Geiger said and it could be sort of the same thing. Starring. The I would Spaney falls mainly. I will say this: I would love another Blaney. Alien versus Predator. I would love that. Never skimp on the tentacle. H.R. Geiger said that. Starring, the rainy and Spaney falls mainly on the planey. Oh, brother, spare parts thou. First Who goes up with her. this? Her womb connects them all. Oh, I, oh, we are what? I'm sure that Egg is a very nice person. Oh my goodness. An actual synth. And it's true. This man has no d Alien. Similis. Yeah, but I thought it was good. It did what it's supposed As to. Has Leon Yutani considered making an android that, I don't know, doesn't worship the monsters who want to crack us open like king crab legs? Lack of oxygen and food is of no true consequence to this perfect organism. So, know then. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Daylight That's a good come, and me one go home. And what do I get? A one-way ticket to Palookaville? Spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your bones, reveal your doom tonight. All right, well, shout out to Screen Junkies. Like I said, it's been a minute since uh, I've seen their videos, and I would love to see behind the scenes of who's that voice. <laughs> who's the voice actor behind that? 
or announcer, whatever you want to call him, narrator. But yeah, I thought Alien did exactly what it was supposed to. Now, I, I'm not going to sit up here and say that it did. It stepped out of the realm and went and reached for something greater and it worked. I'm not going to say that. But in a way, I'm glad. I thought Alien Covenant and Prometheus was decent, but I never wanted to go back and watch it again. I didn't. Here, I will watch Alien Romulus over and over again. The first Alien, I'll watch over and over again. Like, because it, it's, yeah, it's simple. And some movies need to stay simple. Some do. And this is one of them. Anyway, I would love, though, Alien vs. Predator. Another one. And this, with 2024, how they do the graphics now, I would love that. Action packed, the right casting, all that stuff. Anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments if you liked the movie or if you didn't. All right, I'll check you later.